flexibility, not that kind of flexibility. Thanksgiving has come and gone, and this video and attached article were, by my standards anyway, supposed to be published a week ago. That would have been the evening before Thanksgiving. Now, sometimes it just makes no sense to do what has always made sense before. What other traditional standards do I run by? Well, they're myriad, as I suspect are yours. How about always clean your plate? And what are the results yielded by that childhood standard? A lifetime of always being at least slightly, and sometimes even more, overweight. It makes no sense when it always made sense before. How about always be on time? This is one of my mom's doing. She was punctual to a fault. Pass that on to me, I suspect. And now that I think about it, it's what has me uncomfortable about publishing this monthly missive a week later than normal. I've been known to get to an appointment, meeting, sporting event, whatever, a half an hour early and wait till the second hand sweeps by the 12 at the appointed minute to walk in. This has caused me to speed recklessly, at least one speeding ticket, which of course made me later. It has made me forget what I was supposed to bring to the meeting and judge others who don't share this obsession. It too makes no sense when I observe the behavior with clarity. There are just times when staying in my comfort zone, to arrive piously on time, for example, is not worth the risk. Then there are traditions like around Thanksgiving. Turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, stuffing, and huge amounts of carbohydrates in the form of pies, pumpkin, pecan, you name it. I can't tell you how difficult it was to sit down at a nice ribeye steak with roasted asparagus and mushrooms for Thanksgiving dinner. It was just Margaret and me, and I didn't even clean that plate. We did have a small glass of port wine and a teeny chunk of dark chocolate. Given my weight goals for the end of 2018, the traditional meal didn't make sense when it always used to. Flexibility. Sometimes breaking my own rules is better for me than adhering to them. What's difficult is deciding when I am actually facing one of those situations. It takes clarity. What's my real goal? What do I really want? Is it just do things the way I've always done them and stay in my comfort zone? Or is there something more valuable? Happy Thanksgiving, and I only have the whole rest of the holiday season to go. No hurry. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.